Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, this is Lucy. Um, I'm gonna be making a tutorial on the Madeir fight since we don't really have any resources on that, and a lot of people who are new to the run don't know that this fight, if done correctly, is a hundred percent consistent. It is a scripted fight if done correctly. So we're gonna be using bundles, um, and I'm going to walk through this and be as descriptive as possible. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to really like do this fight in segments to show you. So I'm going to try to describe everything the way I do it. Some runners have their own different lines they take, and that's totally cool. Um, I'm going to give you the basic premise and how my line works. If you want, go check out Full, Matt, um, Spacey. Some of them have really interesting lines uh, they think are worth checking out. Um, if you check out Wider, he does uh, Spacey's line, and apparently that's pretty good. I personally haven't tried it, but worth considering. So this is the way I do it. Um, after dropping into the arena, I sprint straight for Madeir's uh, left shoulder, okay? Or I guess his right shoulder, but on my left, I sprint straight for that, okay? And when I'm sprinting, I run straight until I get to this hand sticking up, and then I walk until I refill stamina, and I run straight for that shoulder. Pop my bundle, get an L1, come over here, and once the head comes down, I get five L1s. Sometimes that's a turn. I walk away until he slams, I roll that, and then I aim straight for this big pillar, and then once I'm at his hand, pop a bundle, and I go one, two, three, four. I walk straight out until I get to the end of this pathway, walk to the right. Once I know I can make it in the fire, I bundle and go in and get three hits. Should do a swipe, roll the first one with the direction of the swipe, roll the second one, attack the head four times, refill stamina, and then I go for three L1s, walk away, pop a bundle, go in, L1, R1, and then finish him off with L1s. In this instance, it's only two L1s because I didn't get any half hits or anything. And then, just to close it out, you bone to last rest hit as soon as the wing touches the ground. Simple as that. Okay. So, that is a super, super quick tutorial. And like I said, I try to throw everything in there. Um, I'm going to hop back into the arena and show you just a few other things that you can do. Um, and as well as some other like timings and uh, some things that might go wrong. So the first thing that could go wrong is on the flame attack. Once you run in, you might attack him and he may not do the double swipe. Uh, and the reasoning for that, there's actually two that I know of. There could be others, but um, I guess there's three, but two of them are basically the same thing. Uh, the first is if your damage is short, um, I've noticed that you don't always get the attack i'm not sure if that's 100 percent or what the requirements are but if you're missing hits like say you missed that first l1 uh it's possible that the damage is going to be short uh, in which case he may not follow up with the swipes the second circumstance is if you're too slow to get to his head so if you're waiting for those flames to go away it's possible you're you're too slow um he may not do it and also if you're too fast um i've never had the issue with being too fast in the flames but I've had I've have heard other runners say that they were too quick to get into the head, so I'm not saying it's 100% the case, but I'm inclined to believe them. <laughs> uh, trying to think if there's any other things to touch on. I aim for his left shoulder, I guess his his right shoulder, um, because that's just where the head comes up, so it's easy to get that first L1. Uh, sometimes the timing on the five hit combo after that, um, I just I wait until the head comes down. I hear the roar and I start seeing the head. And I start L1. Um, you may have to aim to the right to get the final hit. Um, I'm going to run through the fight again. I'm just going to explain some more details uh, now that you've seen the fight so you have something to compare it to. Um, and like I said, this big pillar right here, the extra wide one, um, that's the one I run for once he uh, does his back and forth. So um, again, just run through the fight. Sprint forward until I get to this hand. Refill stamina all the way. Come here. Pop a bundle pretty much anywhere. L1. Come right here next to his head. Hear the roar. One two three four five walk to the side scroll that attack aim for that big fat pillar i refill stamina once i get to the end of this all the way to the full run straight one two three four walk straight out from him turn right at the end of that little bone pile run into the flames one two three Roll that with the direction of the swipe, not against it. It makes it a little bit easier to do the follow-up four hits. Refill stamina. Now, I was half a hit short, 
So I'm not going to be able to get in this fight on two L1s. I'm going to have to probably do two L1s and an R1. Just like that. And then again, you're going to bone out. Well, you should probably use a uh, dark sign, but you bone out once the wing touches the ground. All right. So that's the fight. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks, everyone.